Welcome to the Northfield Podcast with Caleb Gordon. You can find out more about Caleb at www.calebgordon.com. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. So excited you are here with us today. Uh, it's the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. And man, we live in a world where we are constantly comparing each other. Like we compare each other on multiple levels. And I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and, and tell you that I've never compared myself or struggled with the idea of comparison because I have. I, I've struggled. I see, you know, certain people that are achieving things and 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 are successful in business, successful in ministry, successful in all areas of their lives. And I'm like, man, that is so what I want. And I sometimes covet that. I'm not going to lie. And I, I just struggle with that sometimes. And it's, it's a thing that God has really placed on my heart that I need to do war on and I need to make war on on a, on a regular basis. Now, have you guys ever struggled with comparison? Have you ever seen somebody that's that's getting further ahead and you're just like, man, I really wish I could get to where they're at. I wish I could achieve what they're achieving. I wish I could do what they're doing. And, I, and we have those moments in our lives where we're just like, oh man, I'd give anything to make that happen. And I just, man, especially on Black Friday, you see certain things happen. You see people, you know, they get certain, they're buying presents for people. They're doing something. I, mean, I wish I had that kind of money or man, I wish I had that kind of influence or man, I wish I had the ability to do this and I don't. And, ah, and we just, we sit and we sort of kind of get to the point where we moan and mope and I've been there and we get to, we get to a level of depression. I mean, honestly, think about it. We get to a level of depression sometimes during this season when it shouldn't be about depression and we shouldn't be depressed. Rather, we should be focused on being thankful, like I talked about last podcast, and and, and um, really just focused in on helping others. And that was where I really, I've really found a comfort and I found a way to, to, to get past myself and stop looking at myself as not... You know, I I just, man, I I wish I had this. I wish I had that. And I get past, this is how I get past that. I I go and I try to meet the needs of others. Like, how can I help? What can I do to help? In fact, I I found this verse, Philippians chapter two, and I just started verse one. It says, so if, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the spirit and any affection in the sympathy, in, in sympathy, Complete my joy by being of the same mind and having the same love, being in full accord of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but hu- but in humility count others more significant than yourself. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also in the but also to the interest of others. Wow. I love that. I just, I mean, I'm just going to finish it off. Verse five has some more great insight, but I'm going to finish there in verse four, just for time's sake. But man, that, that right there is how we get past this idea of comparing one another and, and sitting around and, and thinking to ourselves, man, I wish I had it better. I wish I had this. I wish I had that. Or man, I it just, we have this sense of jealousy on some level, man. We see people and this is the world we live in, in social media. We see the best no one, no one that I know, well, I, I take that back. I know one person that did, tries to do hashtag real life stuff where they post um, pictures of how, you know, th- their day isn't perfect. But man, most of us, when we post pictures on social media, we don't post the fights that we have with our spouses. We don't post when our kids are back talking us and, and lipping off to us. And, and they're, you know, we post the pictures of the perfect family, the perfect moment, the perfect meal, the perfect experience. We, we, that's what we do on social media. And so everybody, when we look at each other on social media, we look and we say, golly, man, they've really got it good. Look how awesome their marriage is. Look how awesome their life is. Look how awesome their church is. Look how awesome this is. And we just, we want what they have because they post the best. They post the best. What does that just say right there? Verse three. It says, do 
Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Verse 4, let each of us look not only to his own interests, but the interests of others. Man, what would it look like if we, as followers of Christ, those who, if you're listening to this podcast and you believe in Jesus and you follow Jesus, what it would look like, what would it look like if we moved in a direction that said, I'm going to put others first. I'm going to put other people's interests first. What if we put our spouse's interests first? What if the kids, if you're listening to this, you put your parents' interest first. Parents, what would you what would it look like if you loved your children without uh, without any conditions? Because I know parents have put conditions on stuff sometimes and it's that shouldn't be how that is. And kids don't put conditions on your parents. Spouses don't put conditions on your spouses. That's that's got to that's got to quit. What if we took this verse in Philippians and we just said, okay, I'm not only going to just look after my own interests, but I'm going to look at the, after the interests of other people. I'm going to try to help. I mean, we would move past this thing of comparing one another and and uh, trying to one up each other and having jealousy and having depression. Depression, I honestly think, would disappear if we honestly strive to look after not just our own interests, but the interests of other people, help people out. Just people that are struggling in depression, man, pray for them. Do something that's going to help them on, on the, in the long run. I mean, people that are struggling with um, comparison, if we sat down, we said, listen, let's, let's try to flesh this out together. Let's, I, I struggle with comparison. I know you struggle with, let's, let's see how we can pray for one another. Let's see how we can help one another. And I, I, that's, man, I really think that this little idea, this little thought really takes root in our hearts. I think honestly, it could transform, it could transform how we view each other, how we act around each other, how, um, we interact with e with each other, um, because a lot of us, man, we, we struggle with putting up a facade. We put up a wall. We put up the things that, you know, we let people in just a little bit. Because we know if we let people in all the way, man, they could tear us apart. And we don't want that. So we guard ourselves. And we want people to think, man, we've got things figured out. They, We want people, man, we desperately want people to think we have life figured out. But most of it, I'm going to be honest, I don't have life figured out. You're like, well, Caleb, you, you speak and do things in public and you, I, I don't have life figured out. In fact, I struggle sometimes. And I, like I said in the beginning of this, I struggle sometimes with the comparison and I struggle with jealousy sometimes. And that, that shouldn't be my, that my case. How do I get past that? Well, the Bible just tells us what we need to do. We, we don't just try to um, go after and achieve our own interests. We go out and we try to help one another. We love one another. We put our interests aside before somebody else's interest. That's what it said there in verse four. Let each of a uh, let each of you look not only to your own interests but also to the interests of others. Man, come come alongside one another and help one another. Like honestly, help one another. I think that if we were just the world would be just a couple of degrees better if we would just shift our gaze and we would shift our mindset from, man, what can I do to, to climb that corporate ladder? What can I do to climb that corporate ministry ladder? What can I do to make this happen? What can I do, you know, that next thing? What's the next big thing? The next big thing. If we get past what's next and we look at what's in front of us and we just say, okay, how can I help? How can I love people better than I love people currently? Like that's going to transform the way we do things. It's honestly going to be a game changer for us. If that's how we move and live and have our being. Like if we put other people first and we put their interests ahead of our own and we don't come in with a conceitful mind or a comparing mind or a jealous mind, but we come in with affection and sympathy and we just come in and say, man, I understand where you're struggling and I want to help. And when people come and say, listen, here's where I'm struggling. Don't be the jerk. That's like, Oh wow. That's great that you you're struggling. I'm so sorry. This is, this is how we do it. Oh man, I'm really, I'm so sorry that you're struggling with that. Let me pray for you. And then we pray and then we go, man, did you tell, I'm going to tell you how, you know, 
man, Susie, or let me tell you, John, man, they're struggling with this, they're struggling with that. And we always couch it in Christian terms. That's got to stop. we got to quit couching those things in Christian terms. Oh, man, he's struggling with lust, or she's struggling with, with pride, she's struggling with anger. Quit. We, we need to quit that, and we need to start loving one another and putting other people's interests before our own and helping one another. And we can do that by, first of all, praying for one another, like legitimately praying for one another. I think that's the first thing we do. And after we pray, then we look for ways that we can, we can serve, like serve the other person, serve their interests, serve their, their goals, help them achieve what they need to achieve. And man, if you help other people achieve their goals, your goals are going to get achieved as well. Like they're really, it's, it's going to happen. Okay. It's a, it's a biblical mindset. Like you help other people, you're going to get helped. Like it's going to happen. Like I, honestly, um, I, I just think that we need to move in a direction that is more focused on loving people better than we currently do. Like that would change the world. I think that's how we need to do this thing. That's my hope for us today, guys. Um, Hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Um, man, I hope to see you guys in church on Sunday. That's that's my hope. Um, love y'all. Let's go get them. <laughs>